What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing yet another NG Models August 2021 release. This time it is a narrow body model. Without further ado, let's get started. Now I did order this model from Panda Fox Toys, so the packaging is going to be very, very tight. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Panda Fox Toys, they love packaging their models very tightly, as in the model like the model isn't supposed to move in the box but and uh, panda fox toys just overdoes it with the amount of packing tape they use um as you guys can see uh here they overdo it completely uh like i said with the amount of packing tape uh that they use and um if i ever get this box open i'll show you guys the uh model now Okay, finally we have gotten the box open and as you guys can see it is a very tightly packaged box which is good. And uh, yeah, here uh, we have paper for me and here we have the model. Now the reason why I got this model is because Delta fly year round with their 737-900 ERs to Salt Lake City and uh, during uh, the months of peak demand, usually that is June to late November, early December, they alternate between the 737-800 and 737-900 and with this model, uh, this is actually the final Delta model that I need for Newark as I already have the 737-800 and CRJ-900 ER so I have completed uh, my Delta Newark fleet. Anywho, before we open the box to take a look at the model, we have to take a look at the clip art of, well, not clip art, we have to take a look at the box. So, taking a look at the box, we have Boeing 737-900, we have the clip art of the aircraft, a uh, very Delta-themed box. Uh, as you guys can see, this is uh, Delta's tail logo, and of course, it is reflected all over the box. Uh, we have the clip art of the aircraft. Uh, on the bottom of the box here, we have uh, Delta logo, the registration, which is the number 913 Delta Uniform and 913DU. Boeing trademark, NG models, 1 to 400 scale collectible models. On the side of the box, the bottom and the top. On the bottom, we, it's the same thing, the clip art, registration, type of aircraft, NG models, except it's lighter. And then on the top, it's a much darker shade of red and a darker shade of blue. And uh, yeah, on the sides of the box, uh, we have the type of aircraft, Delta's logo, 1 to 400 scale collectible models, NG models. And it's the same thing on the other side, except in a lighter red. And uh, yeah, uh, these are this is the whole entire sides of the box, and of course, on the back of the box, it's NG models. We, it's the same thing, the same design. We have the clip out of the aircraft, and of course, it just says uh, the social media of NG models, trademark, and all the warnings and hazards. But of course, we don't pay attention to that here. Uh, anywho, uh, now that we've taken a look at the outside of the box, let's open uh, the box to take a look at the model. Now, um, NG Models always uh, packages their uh, models in the, su in the such in the way that you end up damaging the flaps. There's really no way to avoid that, but uh, yeah, here we have the model. Let's take out of the standard NG Models plastic packaging, and here we have the model. Okay, now this looks like a really good model, and that being said, let's start off the detail segment. I just realized this, but it's a bit crazy. I actually did fly on this exact aircraft from Salt Lake City to JFK uh, back in July of 2018. I, I actually didn't even realize that until now. It's the same exact registration. But uh, yeah, I'm going to stop talking, and now let's uh, start off with the detail segment. Starting off with the detail segment, for this model, we have the cockpit windows, Sky Team logo, L1 door, forward landing gear, and on the blue landing uh, gear bay doors, we have uh, the, the number. Numbers 3913, which, if I'm not mistaken, is the serial number of the aircraft. Moving on down the uh, aircraft, like I said before, we have the L1 door, uh, the massive, not massive, decently sized Delta logo, Wi Fi hub slash HUD in the front of the aircraft, and that, that actually looks like it was, was it put on wrong? The proportions don't look right. It looks like it was put on wrong, uh, but I think it's probably just me complaining. But uh, yeah, here we have the Wi-Fi hub slash HUD. Moving on down the aircraft, we have the emergency exits. We have a winglet, uh, not winglet, uh, we have an antenna. We have the wings, which we'll take a look at later. And moving on down the aircraft, we have uh, the L2 door. Um, I think this is an emergency exit. So for safe 
keeping or just to keep my word i think this is an emergency exit because it's, it doesn't look like an actual normal door it looks like an emergency exit but uh i'm just gonna call it an emergency exit and uh yeah moving on down the aircraft we have the american flag uh the registration of the model uh and the plane that i actually flew on which is a uh, november 913 delta uniform and 913 du and we have the l2 door and the wonderful delta tail now uh the camera my phone camera isn't picking this up but the colors look a little bit off the colors look more of a dark blue rather than delta's normal it looks more like a dark blue purple color rather than delta's normal blue color so um i feel like the colors are a bit off with this model but it still looks like a really good model but now that we've taken a look at the fuselage the left side of the fuselage let's take a look at the right now uh there is actually no difference between the left and the right side besides this tiny cargo door there's no difference between the left and the right side of the fuselage and yeah now let's take a look at the wings of the model yeah i know i just banged the model but it's fine anywho taking a look at the wings of the model uh the uh fan blades inside the jet engines are marvelously well crafted uh as well as uh the wings which actually unlike uh you know gemini jets the wings here are actually straight they're actually level as well as the ailerons and of course the winglets on this uh, model have deltas blue colors on the inside as well as the outside of the winglets and the engines are painted uh in delta's paint scheme but like i said before the color looks a little bit off ng probably should fix that with the color correction because it looks a little bit too blue it looks almost purple but uh yeah anywho moving on to the bottom of the aircraft we have the forward landing gear uh, back landing gear and we have this um, the blue paint scheme on Delta's belly along with the white Delta logo which is something that Delta started implementing I believe be, I think it was a year or two ago that they started uh, implementing uh, this white Delta logo on the bottom and a blue belly but um yeah that's really all there is and besides these uh, antennas a red antenna and a white antenna and another red antenna that's really all there is to this model and honestly this is a really really good model like i said before this really is a great model and compared to gemini jets uh gemini jets is delta 737 900 this is much better quality and well a much better box yes it's a little bit more expensive but in the long run it really is much better and more worth it and more value for your money but uh yeah that being said that does conclude this video if you guys like the video please like subscribe and turn on the notification bell to so my videos and comment down below what you guys think i should improve in my videos and what you guys got from ng models august 2021 releases once again thank you for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next video as always goodbye